safe and those guys thought about, and I know they've traveled around the country looking at all the things. What you see here is a compile of all of the issues with 800 megahertz across the nation, and this is, this is the unit itself that they've come up with. Um, in this pouch, you'll see another uh, radio here. It has a mic that hangs over the main unit. It comes back down like this, and this will be able to contact different agencies. Once we all get on the 800 megahertz network, this will be able to contact all of your uh, S agencies like uh, DPS, APS, uh, GPS, any of those kinds of things you'll be able to contact through this. Also, uh, hospitals, um, we actually, the other day, messed around. I don't think it was intentional. We got a hold of... Uh, we got a hold of Pat Grimes over feedback on his trucking business. He's doing fine. He wanted everyone to know. And uh, you talked to some of our uh, soldier, service soldiers over in Afghanistan. Yeah, it was, it was... I don't think it was intended for that, but that just shows you the... Uh, power it's the, got. The power that this thing has. We were able to get some of that. And I think Leif and the guys are working on some of those issues of a bleed over. So basically, that's what you're seeing on the back end of this unit. And uh, what do you think this weighs, Gary? Uh, uh, well over 100 pounds. I'm getting pretty tired right now. Yeah. So It's heavy, Jace. Is it? Well, that's something else that technology will address at some point. So with this, we'll go ahead and, uh, Gary, why don't you turn around for a second? And this is where the uh, rubber meets the road. This is where the operating part of this unit is. And uh, you'll notice here that there's a lot of, a lot of mics across a bandolero style <laughs> holder here. And uh, basically, you know, and, and it is true what Gary said, it's a shorter guy in the back would be able to reach those knobs if he was a shorter radio man. But a guy using this, like Gary, if you notice, he's got a natural shelf here that will display these radios. So if, if you've got a guy that can eat quite a bit, you've got these radios right presentable for you. So Yeah, I think the, my stomach helps hold them up so I can see. Exactly. One thing you got to let everyone know, you always start with your left hand. This will always be the command mic. That's right. As you work across, all the way to this far one is Lark. That's it. So in between, and I don't know all of them yet, I'm still learning them. These are sectors, and, and it goes on. Rub your hands and come across, and you'll feel them. You don't even have to look. You can touch them. So in a smoke-filled environment, you don't need this. I won't go in a fire, Jace. Well... The radio That's, guy will never, this can only take 300 degrees. I see. So yeah. what is the communication challenge then once the crew goes inside? What's the system? Like? I have what they call a wire wheel back here. You didn't see it. It's hidden. Mm -hmm. I can hook you up to a portable mic. You can go into a, over 300 feet with this thing, mm -hmm. and you won't have a problem. Now, that cord's rated for 5,000 degrees. So you don't have so, nothing to worry about. See, and that's that's the kind of thought that Leif and the guys have put into this. So oh, there's so much thought. <clears throat> just playing with it that week, I just enjoyed it. Exactly. Totally. You just got to work see, your I, way across. Basically, I think command. So you always, with the left hand, go to your right side. And that'll be command. That'll be your tactical channel. And then it'll come down to emergency traffic, maydays, and so on, right on down. If you had a really bad situation, you have the capability or possibility of all of your crew members coming up right into this <laughs> area here. And being able to talk, all four guys will be able to <laughs> talk right here. Uh, it's a quick release. If you notice, if you take two hands, pull it. Uh -huh. Always replace it to the. They're going to number both of these because it'll get confusing for some people. Yeah. I haven't had too many problems. Yeah. So at this point, I want to show you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and activate and key this up. <laughs> at all times, you need to. Uh, we. There was some concern about uh, vis vitreous humor in your eyeball being affected by a lot of the gamma and alpha and mega rays. So before I key this up, I'll, you need to constantly have safety glasses on whenever operating this thing. And one of the other ideas here, too, is that if I'm in an interior position, well, the union's going to appreciate this a lot because we actually need to get a fifth man. Don't it'll, it'll take another man. And you, and you, you're forgetting something else, the radio person, not radio man, remember? We need to find, he can carry the tick for the captain, and I brought a tick along in case you want to see how that works out with the radio person. That's good, and we'll show how the tick operates. But basically, as a company officer in an interior position, what I would say is uh, for the radio man to come forward. He needs to be near my side at all times. And I'll just demonstrate the, uh, the command mic here. In, if you can't get it unclipped, that's okay, because you can still get right into this area. And then just... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and depress it. Wow, that, 
that took some of the lighting out of the building. I, I don't know a lot if that's of power a technical these, or a lot, a lot of power. power. So I depress this and I'll, I'll talk into this area here like this. And I'm constantly with the radio man. You the should radio be. man can help him too by holding his balance. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are wondering how this all works in correlation. There's a lot of tasks being put on us. We also have the thermal imaging camera and we want to get that out of the company's officer's hands when he's not using it. And rather than some of these crazy straps you guys have come up with, what we have here is a tick unit and Gary came up with a very simple but basic basic uh, thing on the tick and you know if I'm the captain I'll have to move over this way and I'm using this and the radio man always stays next to the company officer or or he stays near him uh, sometimes if it's a fire under 300 degrees we'll have him right here but I'm operating the tick and now I let's say I let me get this turned around because this 